I, 28-year-old female, wanted an open relationship. I now regret it, and my husband, 26-year-old male, does not want to close it. I had read online that opening your relationship can help bring some more life into it. Today I sat my husband down and told him that I wanted to close our relationship, that I hadn't seen anyone else since I started dating Jack, and that now that he's gone, I only want him. He got quiet and told me he doesn't want to. I, 28-year-old female, wanted an open relationship. I now regret it, and my husband, 26-year-old male, does not want to close it. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. So basically, our relationship was good, and we still loved each other very much, but things had started to feel a bit stale. I had read online that opening your relationship can help bring some more life into it. He was at first hesitant, but agreed after we set down some rules. The rules were that we didn't want each other, other seeing people we both know, such as mutual friends. We didn't need to tell each other about random hookups, but we did need to tell each other if we started seeing someone beyond just hookups. Nothing really happened for the first month, but then I started hooking up with with the guys on dating apps and a few weeks later my husband started having a few hookups every now and then after two months i met this guy at work and we hit it off he showed interest and i told him i was in an open marriage he didn't mind and we started dating for about a year this went on and my husband only had hookups then he told me he started seeing someone called max I was excited for him and was asking some questions, basically asking where he met them and if she was cute. He was a bit awkward around the questions, but answered them, saying they had met at a club and that he found them very cute. Hmm. This again went on for about two years. My husband had met my partner, Jack, and got on very well. I still had never met Max and had seen very few pictures of her, but my husband seemed happy. One of the things that first pushed me to consider an open relationship is that I'm pretty kinky, and my husband was strictly vanilla. He was willing to do some things for me, but not much which I respected, which is why it surprised me when I found a box of kinky things such as outfits and toys that were not mine. I brought it up with him. And he seemed embarrassed and told me that he had gotten them from Max. I was asking if we could do some more kinky things in the bedroom. He said sure, but when we did it, he didn't seem too into it. Well, about a month ago, Jack told me he had to move out of the country as our company was transferring him. He said he didn't think he could handle a long-distance relationship, and while he loved me, he wanted to break up for now. I was in pieces and my, and my husband comforted me through it. Jack left the country yesterday. Today I sat my husband down and told him that I wanted to close our relationship, that I hadn't seen anyone else since I started dating Jack, and that now that he's gone, I only want him. He got quiet and told me he doesn't want to. This shocked me really. He explained that he really liked being with Max and doesn't want to end things. I didn't really understand. I didn't really understand because he doesn't talk about her much or or bring her around, so I didn't think it was that serious. I told him again that I wanted it to be just us and that if he continues to see anyone else after this point, I would now consider it cheating. He told me I'm being unfair, but I didn't want to listen anymore, and I told him to get out. He grabbed some of his clothes, and he left. I thought he would stay at a friend's house, but, have, but I have found out after calling them that he's probably with Max right now, and I'm just so upset I don't know what to do. How do I convince him this is best for us? 
Asking for an open relationship backfires. Ma'am, you are so freaking selfish. My husband isn't as kinky as I am. He's vanilla. So I have to get it elsewhere. Our relationship was just too stale in the bedroom. It was all good when you're getting your back broken by Jack, who you probably wanted to be with in the first place, and you probably cheated with Jack back in the day, but we're not going to go there. Jack's blowing your back out, you having all this fun, and, and still being getting your hu husband's been treatment from your husband. Oh, you were living the life, but as soon as Jack leaves, oh, you need to leave this girl. I didn't think you liked her anyway. Oh, if you don't stop seeing her, then you're cheating on me. No, 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 that's not how it works. You're jealous that he's doing kinkier things with this Max girl that he's not doing with you, or he doesn't enjoy doing it with you. That bothered you, but you had Jack when that happened, so it was okay. Now that you know he's doing all these things with this other girl, and not you, his wife, and Jack's gone, Oh, you're ticked off. You're jealous. It backfired in your face. I hope he never comes back. Or if he does come, if he does come back, I hope he comes back with divorce papers. We're done. I'm going to go be with Max. I, I realize why I didn't like doing those kinky things with you because I'm just not feeling you like that. But Max, he loves Max. You got what you deserved. I'm sorry. Let's check out the comments. It's only best for you now because you lost your guy. Open marriages rarely work. You're being very selfish. Just go your separate ways already. I posted this earlier, but every time I see this crap, I have Queen song playing in my head. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> JFC, you opened a relationship to get what you wanted, and now you're closing it now that you're not getting what you wanted. Basically, your boyfriend moved away, and now you want your husband to dump his girlfriend, which all of this was your idea, so that you can have him all to yourself again, correct? Selfish. Plot twist, husband is planning on leaving you to be with Max in a committed relationship. I think so, too. That would be great. If Jack was still around... You would still want the open relationship. Now that he is gone, things look good for you, for your hubby, but not for you. Let's just face the fact that you are very self-centered and this has backfired on you. Hopefully he leaves this marriage. Absolutely. You're being extremely unfair and sound toxic as heck. It's not all about you. Your husband didn't want it to start, but you talked him into it. Now you've decided if he continues, he's cheating. You've made your own bed. Now lie in it. This might just be my little gay brain talking. And I know the name is fake. But the very gender neutral name and the way the husband is acting gives me a feeling Max might not be a girl. You know, you know in the, when I was reading through this, I thought that was going to be the, the shocker. When she, when she said the name, I said, oh, is this going to turn out? To be a guy and <laughs> i i really i i thought that too so i'm glad i'm not the only one that was thinking that i don't know that could still be a shocker you know completely thinking the same thing at first the lack of self-awareness in this post is hilarious ah yes the classic you reap what you sow i don't feel bad for you at all <laughs> Your boyfriend dumped you, and now you expect your husband to dump his girlfriend. Closing it now is best for you, not best for us. You seem very self-centered. You're being unfair, ma'am. Hello, I love it when it backfires on people. Yeah. You sound like a crappy and selfish wife, and your husband would be better off with this Max person. He is lucky there is no children involved, so after the divorce would never have to see you again absolutely like i said guys i'm gonna stick on that one i'm very curious to hear an update about that that's uh interesting let's check out another post all right i don't think i want an open relationship anymore oh, let me guess she asked for the open relationship and for whatever reason she wants to close oh man Okay, buckle up, everyone, because this is going to be a bit of a long one. 
my fiance, male 21, and I, female 21, have been together for three years now. About two years into our relationship, we decided we wanted to try an open relationship, mostly because he was not as romantically involved as I would have wanted. Plus, I had a lot of interest in women. Okay. We agreed to this open relationship because he wasn't doing the things that I wanted. No, you wanted this open relationship and you forced it. Just say it. But which, which he seemed to like the idea of. Fast forward to now, he starts a new job about a month ago. He has this co-worker he really likes. She is a couple years older than us and has a young kid. We decided we were going to see if we could try being a thruple. Oh, I've heard something like this before. The girl, I'll call her Kay, was totally on board with feeling it out and seeing if it would be compatible. Me and her exchange Snapchats and we start talking. We go out on a few dates and spend lots of time all together, cuddling and doing cute stuff. She tells me all the sweet nothings that any other bi-curious girl would want to hear. We had even gotten to the point where she let us meet her kid, and we had even talked about me babysitting. Anyways, this whole time I'm talking with my fiancé and telling him that something isn't right. I told him I know manipulation when I see it. He brushed it off because he's blissfully ignorant, as per usual. Mind you, I've had a bad feeling about her since day one. I could never explain it. He would say she liked me, but never text me, but texted him all day. That type of stuff. Fast forward to today, and we decide to go out of town with her kid to go swimming. Everything seems to go well, and we take her home to shower and change. The plan was for her sister to take her kid for the night because we were planning on doing stuff. We went back home and waited for her to message about coming over. Eventually, she said that her sister fell asleep and she couldn't come over. I figured it was late enough, so I just said goodnight and laid down to watch TV. Not even five minutes after that, she's messaging my fiancé asking him to come over. Previously, we had set boundaries where neither one of us was to be alone with her unless it was platonic. At least until we get more comfortable and gain that trust. So obviously I'm a little bothered that she would wait till I said good night. He told her he wasn't going to be able to come. And for her, I guess it was a test to see what he was willing to do. She immediately responded with, well, I don't think I'm ready for this. I'm going to take a step back. We are obviously baffled by this. And I'm so, and so I message her and apologize. I in case I overstepped any boundaries. She said that she just didn't like me the same way she liked him. She was overflowing with feelings for him, which I thought was the same case for me. But no, she had just been gaslighting me to get to what she really wants, to get him alone. So obviously, this news has both of us angered, and I think I'm done trying for an open relationship. Sorry for the jumbled rant. I just thought I'd ask for advice because I'm very confused as to what I should do. She wants to stay friends, but I don't think it would work. <laughs> wow. Another backfire, guys. Another backfire. They're asking for these open relationships, and she starts it off with, Oh, we agreed to this. We both want this. No, you're not happy in your monogamous relationships. A lot of them are just not happy in these monogamous relationships. No matter how great their husbands are, their fiancés, boyfriends, whatever, how great they are, how much they take care of them, they don't care. They need some extra spice. I don't care if she's saying, I want an open relationship, but I want to do it with just women. I mean, this guy found that kind of... He it turned him on a bit, and he was like, okay, well, if it's women, it's not a big deal. Look, man, I think that whole formula of open relationship or a throuple is just a bad formula, and it just doesn't work. Now, I, I'm, I will admit, I've and I've told you guys before, I've heard a ton of podcasts 
where people have been together for years and they have that whole thruple relationship. It's like it's usually I, 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 I listen to some. It was one guy and two women and some even had children. They they they, they were thriving, according to them had been together for years. I think the one I was listening to once before it was like eight years. I think they were together together eight years. This was, this was years ago when I heard this too. This was back in 2016. This is when I used to listen to podcasts on SoundCloud. Uh, yeah, that that couple had been together for eight years and I used to listen to all these different types of podcasts and there was a lot of couples on there talking about open relationships and oh, I've been doing it for three years, four years. It works out for us. You know, they had kids and all types of stuff. So people are thriving doing it. But for the most part, um, from what I've read, a lot of these newer stories, it doesn't work out and it always ruins the marriage relationship. It ruins it. Uh, it's only this is only a couple days old, so there's a couple comments here. Thruples almost never work for this exact reason. Yeah, but it's just the fact that she gaslit both of us into thinking a certain way. Op says, "Well, Op, look, she wasn't feeling you. You thought she was feeling you. She just wasn't. She just wasn't. She wanted your guy. I mean, it is what it is." It is what it is. I'm curious to know if she would ever update again on this. Uh, like I said, it's only a couple days old. Guys, let me know what you think about both stories in the comments. Oh, man. I have to pay alimony after being cheated on. Rant venting. Oh, man. That, oh, that would suck. I just do not understand why I have to pay my ex alimony if she cheated after 13 years of marriage. It is complete BS and a failure of our court system. I could have taken it to a judge and, and hoped he would see it my way, but that would have been an equal amount of lawyer fees for something that wasn't even a certainty. I live in PA, which is an at-fault state, but her being on fake disability and pulling that card whenever she can could have trumped the cheating. What? Oh, no, I would have figured out a way to get fake disability. Oh, come on. I've been paying this woman for over two and a half years, and it ticks me off every payday when I have to give her a check. I only have till October next year, but what the F, man? The alimony laws are so darn dumb. Still, I am happy I'm divorced from her. It sucked at the time. But now I'm the happiest I have ever been in a long time. Wow. I'm stuck on she's on fake disability. But her being on fake disability and pulling that car whenever she can. Dude, I will get her exposed. She can get in serious trouble for doing that. There are people who really, really need it. I don't know if you guys know anything about... Uh, like, like, if you, you know any lawyers who work with you know, um, getting people disability or know anybody who tried to get disability. If you know how that goes, those people get turned down all the time immediately. It's tough for lawyers to get disability. I know, I know some that try to get their clients disability. It's, it's, it's tough. So for somebody like her to, to, to get these benefits, where you say you call it fake disability so i feel like she's lying about an injury or something she's getting money that could be going to someone who really really needs it someone who really really needs it and here she is eating it up and now on top of that you have to pay her alimony and she cheated oh guys the question remains is it worth it no marriage, no relationships. It's not worth it, guys. It is not worth it. I want to check out these comments real quick. Let's see if he's in the comments. You're the happiest you've been in a long time? Focus on that. Huh. He replied, he is in the comments. 99.9% .9 of the time I do. When I look at my bank account and could really use that money, that's when I get resentful. Yeah, I bet, man. When you want to buy something or go on a vacation and you see that you got to give her a lump sum of lump sum of money every 
every month that that'll be annoying someone else said i was married almost 21 years to a very difficult woman she cheated and left and i paid a fairly high amount of alimony for many years but i am done in three months if you are a breadwinner don't marry if you mess that up don't marry someone who wants to stay at home and don't marry someone with no aspirations or prospects in terms of earning potential finally if you have assets sign a prenup he replied and said sorry bud but three months left that is awesome and someone said unfortunately prenups are useless there is no benefit to marriage at all sure you can live together but there's no benefit to include the state into your household i agree with that being said i'll catch you guys later